Everybody loves a Mercedes-Benz, and why wouldn't they? Because Mercedes have really changed the way that they are dealing with the whole car market. They seem to have a car that suits every sector, and all their cars have got amazing styling. And this is the latest creation from them. It's the latest styling for the A-Class, and just look how sharp this little car looks behind me. This is an A200 diesel. Uh, a great little car, but let me just show you some of its nicer features. They put this diamond grille on the front. It's giving it much more purpose at the front. Really does look nice. They've sharpened up the headlamps to give it a bit more presence on the road. One of my nice little features I like are the indicators that are in the mirror. They're really nicely styled, very nicely done. It looks great, this one. That's because it's sitting on 18 inch. You heard me right, tiny little car, 18 inch. AMG alloy wheels. This, finished in blue, is one of the cars that we cover in stock at Mike Brewer Motors and we will have one out there to suit you. But before I take it for a drive, why don't we have a look around the back? I love the styling at the back too. You've got these nice sharp rear lights. It is a little bit claustrophobic to see out the back of one of these. It's a tiny little rear screen. It's got rear wash wipe. Uh, but it looks great at the back, it's nice and purposeful. Once you open it up, it's got a very small little hatchback. I mean, for a five-door car, it really is focusing on the city driving. Little weenie boots, it's not that big, it's only 340 litres of space. There is a little bit of hidden space. If you lift up the floor, there's a bit of space down there, which is always handy. Doesn't come with a spare wheel, it comes with a puncher repair kit and an inflator for your tyre, so you have to get used to that if you get a puncher on the side of the road. It's got a 60-40 split rear seat. If you want to use all of this space, you will get 1,157 litres of boot space, but to use it, rather annoyingly, you have to take out the parcel shelf and put it somewhere. So that becomes a bit of a problem, especially if you're out shopping, you buy something, won't fit in the boot, you fold the seats down, you'll end up with this on your lap or banging around inside the car somewhere. But they have thought of some nice little features, like they've got little cargo nets underneath the parcel shelf. Never seen that before, that's a nice little touch. Cargo nets on the inside as well. So if you have got something that's gonna rattle around inside the boot, you can make sure that it's nice and safe. Now, as I say, it's a five-door car, but I don't think you're gonna get a Mike Brewer-sized person on the rear seat. It's a little bit tight but it does fit a full-size Mrs. Brewer. So, Michelle, what's it like in the back? Very comfortable, plenty of space, plenty of legroom. Yeah, it does suit you, but I'm not too sure I would be very comfortable in the back of this, but I can see it's got that faux Alcantara and leather. Yeah, very, very. It's nice, lovely. isn't it? Yeah, lovely seating. Double-stitch leather at the back as well. Let's have a look up front. Now inside here, there is going to be lots for me to tell you, particularly when I'm out on the road. You can see the dashboard is well appointed. The dash in this car sits quite high and far back in the car. In fact, you almost sit in the middle of the car as the driver and you're quite slunk down inside it. It gives it that more sporty feel. More of which I'll tell you about when I'm out on the road. But one feature I really do like, particularly on this model, is the seats. This has got sculptured half Alcantara, I think it's faux Alcantara and leather, double stitch, really gives it an air of quality. Uh, what I like about these seats, a uh, little nod to Recaro if you like, a little lever at the front, if you pull it, you get that under leg support, which you uh, get on the bolster here, and I really like that, that's very comfortable when you're driving. And there's a rather cheeky little cupboard, it's on both driver and passenger seats, you just pull this little lever, there's a little cupboard underneath, folds down, it says it'll hold 1.2 kilograms, it's tiny. I think it's a really good place to put a pair of sunglasses or your wallets if you're out on the road, but um, that's always nice to see. They've used the space quite well. Big door buckets, which is good. Other than that, the vehicle, you know, is lovely. And I can't wait to get it out there on the road and see what it's like to drive. I was gonna to wait to talk to you lovely people, but I'm actually so excited, I wanna to talk to you now. Uh, one of the things that I initially like about this car is the way that you can sit in it, and that's important, isn't it? When you're in a car, you wanna feel comfortable and connected to the vehicle, and this I feel really connected to, and the reason is is because I can lower the driver's seat, I can get it all the way down into the basement level, which is very nice, and I can 
pull out the steering wheel. It's got reach and rake on the steering column and it means that I can get the seating position in this car absolutely perfect. And I love the fact that the steering wheel really does feel chunky and it comes out towards you. So that's very nice indeed. Uh, also visibility, although this car does feel rather claustrophobic when you're in the back, in the front it's very good actually. You've got quite a big screen. It's very sloped the screen to give it this coupe look, but you have got good visibility at the front. Nice big mirrors at the side, so visibility down the side is good as well. Everything you tend to hold and touch in this car has got an air of quality about it. Uh, the most beautiful thing of all is this steering wheel. It's a really fat, chunky steering wheel. It's got beautiful stitching all the way around it. It's lovely leather, it's perforated in all the right places and it feels like a real handful, which is what I like on a steering wheel. It's cut off at the bottom, and this steering wheel comes with everything you'd expect. It's a complete multi-function steering wheel, so you can operate almost any device in the car just from the comfort of your chair. Now, this car's a diesel. Diesel cars, as we know, are quick. This one is rather rapid. It gets from 0 to 60, and just over nine seconds, tops out at 130 miles an hour through this seven-speed gearbox. If I put my foot down, it shoves you. <laughs> Let's go whoop, into the back of the chair. And thanks to that sure-footedness, it's a very good ride and you feel very safe and secure inside the cockpit of the car. And whilst you're driving along, cruise control on, enjoying the long journey in this comfortable seat, and you might as well listen to some music. Fortunately, this car's got you covered again because it's got a full infotainment system. Uh, that's worked by this drive that you've got down by your left hand. Uh, it's got this rather weird sort of pop-up screen. Well, it's not even pop-up, it's bolted to the dashboard. It looks like somebody's just thrown a, an iPad at the dashboard and stuck it on. I'm not a fan of it, if I was to be honest with you, uh, but it does the job. You can just get through your satellite navigation for your radio channels, you can find out about the car, uh, you can tune into your media, so your own music you can listen to, and obviously it connects to your telephone, uh, which is great. That is a very nice thing, it's a ni very nice screen, but it does feel to me a bit like an afterthought. So overall, this car is a nice little gem. It drives lovely, very comfortable, gets down the road nicely, uh, it returns over 62 miles to the gallon. That's when you combine motorway, urban and city driving, which is incredible for a little diesel car like this. In fact, I'm going to be honest with you and confess, these cars are so good. My wife, Mrs. Brewer, she has the same one. This is what she drives. I absolutely love that. I'll tell you what I like most of all is that sculptured seat. It's very comfortable and I do like that seating position where you're right down low in the car and you can pull the steering wheel out. It feels much more sporty than it looks, this car, and it really does give you that premium feel. We will have a A-Class to suit you. We've got a wide range in stock, various different flavors in terms of engine sizes and colors. And remember, all our cars come with a RAC by short 82 point vehicle check and that's for preparation standard. We make sure that all our cars are tip top before they leave the dealership. All our cars come the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty or three months RAC guarantee. Part exchanges, they're always welcome. All cars come with 12 months complimentary breakdown cover, finances available. And if you want more information on all of this stuff, then make sure you check out the website, which is mikebrewermotors.com.